After losing their first conference game since the 2006-2007 season, Friday night against Princeton, Cornell had to have a short memory as they were back in action less than 24 hours later against Penn here at the Palestra. We had a prop loss in the night. But I think there was a little extra incentive for a little bit. Of you know, the anger, like I said, built up the last night, kind of came out a little bit. And then, uh, you know, we, get, we were working on it. It kind of brought us back down to earth a little bit. Um, we know we had to refocus and get a win tonight. Penn came out with a handful of tricks trying to catch Cornell off guard. They used an unconventional starting lineup attempting to physically dominate the Big Red. It was very physical, but every time you play Penn, it's going to be a physical game. They're always going to get up in you. They're always going to try to be the best and uh, try to intimidate you a little bit. But um, I thought we handled it very well. We came back and played a tough game. Ryan Whitman, whose offensive performance has stalled as of late, was challenged to play more aggressively and less passively. This challenge paid dividends for the Red as Whitman scored a game-high 21 en route to a 88-73 Cornell victory. I think the Lions, it's been a, a little bit of a crazy year in the sense that we asked you so much of it. So we got him to do it pretty well. Uh, Lou comes back for many games and he's probably been a little more passive and, you know, not looking for his own. I think he needs to be aggressive all the time. He scored in different ways. He's not just catching it, you know, shooting, putting off the, off the cut a post-up, a transition drive, and I thought that makes him better, and he's so good a player instinctively that it makes us better. No, I think I was a little, kind of a little passive, not only in the last game, but in the two wins, too, and we went pretty big. You know, I think move, not, not just getting shots or anything, but moving without the ball, you know, making plays for other people. I feel like I was staying around the corner just too much better. You know, once you get moving, it's hard for you to do see that. The interior presence of senior center Jeff Foote posed a huge matchup problem for the Quakers. Foote finished the game with 16 points and 6 rebounds. So then the team's got to decide how they're going to play. So all right, either have trouble guarding, now they start screaming, and you see his ability to pass the ball. I thought we missed it before the game. He's a terrific passer. Part of his good passer skill. I still he's looking over the defense so much. It's a huge advantage for him. And, and they're able to throw the ball down on the low post to Foote, who provides them a post presence, which makes them that much more difficult to you know, I think it really it really forces the other team to have to choose. You know, are they going to go double him or are they going to play him straight up? And if they play him straight up, he showed that he's going to score him. As the case has been for the Big Red many times this year, tenacious defense as well as smart transition basketball was key in the victory for Cornell. We really came out. We knew what we had to do. Um, we knew we had to fight through a lot of stuff. We knew they were going to come out fired up. Uh, but we, we just stayed focused, kept with our game plan, you know, attacking. But, before we got into a very good defensive rhythm, which we've done a lot this year, especially recently, so the defense really slipped the bank over the works. It seemed like that element is a loose ball, and they get it, and pitch it out, and they go run, and pick up a loose ball, and throw it out, and it's free, that pitch down. We were in the transition, I thought Lewis was attacking and finding people, just enable us to get the ball up the court, attack the run, and get those good looks. We have to have a balance, but I think they have to be very balanced. Cornell was well to victory by overwhelming fan support despite playing on the road. Playing on the road is difficult to see, especially back to back. See, that whole side in this building, to have that kind of support and in the collection, I'm sure this university never had. And being, I mean, that was a huge thing for the guys. And just and once you get to the last night, that, that kind of positive uh, support is terrific. Cornell's quick turnaround was in part due to their improved three point shooting. They shot 26 percentage points higher Saturday against Penn than they did Friday against Princeton. Cornell is back in action next week against Harvard and Princeton. Be there.
Reporting from outside the palestra, I'm Jake Massmount. And I'm Alex Muir, Slope TV.